I'm Carly, and this is Ethan, and here's Loki. We're eco-friendly travelers in search for the unfamiliar. Come along and let's see what happens. When I think about you, like the times you call it out, every little thing I do. It's finally warming up here. We've been at Big Meal Bed and Breakfast and Farm for just over two months now, and we've been loving the privacy and extra space. So before we move to a new place, I typically do a Google search in the area for places like campgrounds, parks, bed and breakfast, farms, things like that. Then I'll also go on Airbnb and HipCamp to check out what else is available in the area from private owners. And so Airbnb was how I found this bed and breakfast. They had an extra hookup, so we parked our RV next to the two RVs they had for rent, and it's been great. I said I know just what we can do. We can go down to the good world while a bunch of speakers said was a bit rough dealing with the fluctuating spring temperatures, but I definitely got some creative time in, which was nice. But as soon as the first warm front hit, we took advantage of it. We decided to check out Croton National Forest, and that led us to find Hammocks Beach State Park. Hammocks Beach State Park consists of a four mile long barrier island called Bear Island. It offers a 10 only campground in the Deus Beach area. There are only three ways to get out to it. You can ride the park's ferry, which costs $6 for adults, $4 for children and seniors, and that includes a round-trip service, but you cannot bring a wagon or an excessive amount of gear, and they don't allow dogs. The second option is to book a water taxi nearby from a private company, or you can choose the third option like we did, which was to paddle 2.6 miles with a boat, kayak, or paddleboard. We are about to walk up the dunes to find our site. The campground has 11 sites and three large group sites. It's $15 a night and there is a bathhouse available. We made it to site 10, own little private campsite behind the dunes. When kayak camping, it's best to go with backpacking type gear, compact and lightweight. We love our three-person MSR Mother Hubba tent. The price is up there, but it only weighs less than four pounds. With its virtually unbreakable Easton Cyclone poles and DuraShield waterproof coating, wind nor rain can stop us. Also, Loki has put the material to the test for four years now and we've never had a tear. Our Nemo equipment sleeping bags, our Outdoorsman Lab sleeping pads, and the Climate Lux pillow all pack down nice and small and offer us a comfortable night's sleep. And falling asleep to these waves made it even easier. Due to finding this hidden gem last minute, we were only able to stay for one night. But it's honestly one of our favorite campgrounds now. 
It was private, secluded, peaceful, and beautifully untouched for the most part. The 2.6 mile paddle should take the average person about one hour. It's best if you can plan the trip around the tide. So if you're pedaling out to Bear Island, go as soon as low tide begins and the current will help take you out. And when you're coming back in, go when the tide is going back up. We highly recommend checking out this area if you're ever nearby. Fort Macon State Park um, because it was just really hot with no shade for Loki and there was a lot of people there um, and he doesn't do well in crowds so we left and we came to Goose Creek State Park. We've been here before so we're a little more familiar with kind of the areas that we can be a little more secluded and have some shade for him. If you haven't caught on by now, we steer clear of crowds and find the spots with as little people as possible. So, as we made our way back home, we spent the rest of our Sunday at our favorite little nook here at Goose Creek State Park. But my temperature's running high I don't believe in magic But when you smile, it's too good to be true I love this automatic you're stealing my heart, baby, stealing my heart You're stealing my heart, baby, stealing my heart I don't have many troubles But I think you just cut them in two Washington, North Carolina. Going to have dinner and get some drinks at Mulberry House Brewery.
And that pretty much wrapped up our time here in the Inner Banks. Ethan finished up his 13-week contract and we prepared for our next move. In between Ethan's travel PT contracts, he usually plans for about a two week break. So for this next trip, we'll be taking him on an adventurous trip through the Appalachian Mountains in Pisgah and Cherokee National Forests. And as the North Carolinians say, see you later y'all. <laughs>